Oh, what's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we have kicked off our war against our second to last enemy, the Swedish Empire. And we have brought together a fleet, a series of fleets, to engage probably their only major fleet um, in the Baltic. And it's these five ships we have to worry about. And I've brought along one of my own sloops. So obviously in the grand scheme of things I'm not worried. I have ships to spare. But let's crack on. My sloop is going to run away so I can bring in uh, something from my reinforcing fleet. But yes, this is going to be a bit of a slugfest and those are always fun in the Navy. So we're going to capture the fleet, probably fight the battles on mainland Europe, then I think that'll probably be it. Then hit end turn and let everything take on. But anyway, let's go. So put my sloop effectively as far away over here as I can and point them towards the same direction the wind is heading. So I've got heavy, heavy, heavy. First, 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 second, 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 third, third, third. Good. Let's start. Up here. So this sloop can just flee. Oh, we're going to get reinforcements coming in from their stern position. Excellent. Let's sail the ship on ahead. Sail the fleet on ahead. I think I might need new headset because I'm getting crackly bits and pieces. Um, anyway, you're running. You'll make good speed. So let's speed up time. Just set every ship so we every ship that gets brought in to just head over here. Let's we'll sail a bit more like this. We are sending in the third rate ship of the line first, so we're gonna be able to dismantle them before. Their heavy first rate is brought to bear. Okay, there we go. All of these ships just come in. Pursue them from behind. So yeah, their third's going to be separated. I suppose we don't necessarily have to worry about cutting the third rate ship of the line off. It's just being ready to ambush the heavy first rate first and there's a second back there somewhere oh there's two heavy firsts they can do some damage you can knock the sails off these as much as you like you still have to kill all the gunners let's give some of these thirds a slightly different give some of these ships rather a slightly different bearing so they can actually go at full speed. Either way, much of a muchness, let's get back to the main action. Yeah, yeah, so this third's gonna cut us off and cause some problems, but we're a fleet of heavy heavy firsts, that's somewhat to be expected so I'm just going to speed up time until we get a bit more in the melee put your fire out it's only a small fire we'll put some uh, put some shit actually Fire will just to knock out the, th the third rate and back the fire will. Let's 
just take two of my third rates and send them over here just to try and cut them off. Fire at will because you'll hit Drotnig imminently. Some of the smaller ships are heeding to um, changing their vector, their attack vector. Found these smaller ships with round shot, heavy privateer, sick crate, so on. This heavy first is now no longer on fire. Maybe make this first rate fire chain shot, because chain shot does have a way of getting people to change their minds. Just give them all orders to come in fast. Put the fire out again. Keep sailing ahead, you want to cut off their heavy first rate. Go routing, to be expected. No, these guys aren't following my orders because they're still in the formation. You're now on fire. Found him with round shot. No longer on fire. That's their first reach of the line, so you're going to have to start pumping shots in as well. It begins to send my line around here, ahead of my column is in position. The mizzen's gone. You guys both fire round shot. Last mast is gone, which is lovely. And they're on fire. You might blast chain up into that first rate ship. You just pivot, start to engage. Broadside right. Trying to protect that frigate. Just start firing as much as you can. Cut across the back. Just 
keep blasting whatever you've got. Ooh. You on fire? No, you're not. Even though that ship exploded right in front of you, you're okay. That ship's taking on water, though. Taking a lot of damage. You're going to end up getting surrounded by ships at the head of the column. First rate. That sloop's going to do a good amount of damage sat in front of the first rate. It's probably the best place it could possibly go. Oh! Blew up another one of their ships. Does that put you on fire? Shaken. to fire a chain. Actually you, try sail around the rear of this formation. Dodgy position. Just pound them. You're at close range now. Just pound them. Try to sail in between these two ships. So you've cut around the rear of his third rate. Cut another mast. Round shot, drop anchor, pummel them. Pursue and board. Storm through. your backside right here. We pushed her at full speed because they are going to push through our little blockade. Chain shot only, let's whop some chain into that brig. He's reloading his musket. Oh, he's gonna make it cloven in half. Board the brig. Last broadside. Yes, you rec you recovered. 
means you captured the ship that caused you to break. You sail ahead. on the heads. You're very well, you're routing now, but you, you bravely, bravely allowed us to secure that ship in the first instance. No, just just keep going. You'll get you'll, you'll get some hits against you for sure, but not the last mast out of grip. It's just entire traffic jam back here. ship that recovered. Heavy first wave, only 23 guns. Fire. Cut across the stern. Sooner rather than later. Mm, he's turning to try and join us. Knock out all some of these masks. Let this little sneaks be not escape us. As she bears. Here goes the mizzen. It looks like we're all after this one sloop. I mean you as well, but we're bringing in friends. They go just hold there. She's dead in the water. Well, nearly. Let's turn this first race ship about to try and engage Bellona. Pursue the ship. Yeah, she's chained. Let's, again, let's try and knock, knock that last mass to pieces. And this is. There we go. There goes the main. Very much is dead in the water. Let's come about and demolish this last ship that tries to stand against us. Although, yeah, they, I mean they're in good shape, but not for long.
Good hits, good hits. Yeah, they're not going to be around for long. Being pummeled by two thirds in a second, and they're completely dismasted. Yeah, it's going to be good night Vienna for them. Come about. surrendered. Excellent. Our reserves haven't even come in yet. Awesome. Good victory for our forces. That is a... I'm pretty sure... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to take any of them into my service. I'm just going to cash them all in. There we go. Entire fleet gone. Oh, Antonio, get into Visby. You push up to Umea. No, oh, they got nothing. If I had to guess, they do not have any, um, they do not have any spare capacity. Is she ready to push on to Copenhagen? We are currently preventing reinforcement of the city. We're here ready, ready to push on to Christiana. And we are going to attack Riga. Let's uh, combine these armies together, because I believe Finland is likely to be the last army they've got. But they may actually end up getting quite heavily depleted as we capture all of their other sh other um, settlements. So, let's tag Riga with Joao de Brio, who we've had for freaking ages. We've had them for a very we've had him for a very long time. So I'm glad they're still at the front line. They're still alive, importantly, but they're still up front doing the killing and bringing more territory to the Portuguese crown. Right, right, right. So this settlement is going to be absolutely chock full of uh, <laughs> troops, cannons, horses. It's going to be just, just chockable. So we're going to make one breach. I want to focus. I want to try and channel the enemy to have to uh, only. They can, they can only send their troops out in one direction. Eh, my mercenaries and regiment of foot are just the same at melee combat, so... I don't want to try and get do some shenanigans around the flanks. But we need to create our breach. Three units of line and three units of irregulars and skirmishers will be more than enough to secure it. Cavalry, hit the cavalry in the centre. So much cavalry. Oh, and there's pikemen in here as well. Shells away. Dang, the mortars are actually firing at us. Folks, fire them, because they're going to come in and hit my howitzers. Deploy them just a bit close. You men, just keep leveling the breach. Killed anyone yet or destroyed any artillery pieces? They've interfered with the loading of this gun. The quick line is a special shell, it does take longer. Although he's. Yeah. They do take longer to load, but they, they have a more assured effect. So we will definitely kill Brumen. Which will prevent them from firing at us. I mean, I saw one of these guys get knocked on his backside. Yeah, more shells in the air. 
Here they come. Oh, bang on one gun. Keep reloading. Well, it's only the one team. It's Make sure we're both targeting the appropriate place. I mean, the smart move is to move them, which if they start picking too much of us off, I will. Shells away. Clear the... Oh, no, they aren't clearing. Okay, no, they are still having an effect. You're down to five crew. Three guns active. Just keep going for it. One of our... Two of our guns are bugged. Nice. Keep on engaging. Oh no, your gun is working, you're just loading it funny. Come on, lads. I hope they clear the clear the command building. Misses. They're gonna have to keep work. Well, I, what I think will happen if I push up with my infantry, they will change targets. Especially if I do this. So the gunners just keep attacking the breach. Their horse artillery is firing, but I don't think it's actually having an effect. We have killed their general. And their gunners are still wavering. Oh, they've lost two more crewmen. Okay, I think we can afford to have one unit start to pick off other enemy units. The unit of marines block the gate. Start to give people orders. They're coming. Oh, are they coming out? Advance. Put some irregulars up here, see if that will spur them to uh, charge out and stop us. Oh, good hit. The mercenaries are. F no, they're trying to engage us, but they, they definitely don't have the firepower. And once my round shot starts. There we go. They really don't like us charging. Here they come. And they are like the, the perfect unit to push up onto the walls as well. If, if they don't get charged, because they'll 
get up really quickly, line up here, and then just start annihilating the troops defending the breach. Where the hell are you going? Oh yeah, they're going to start charging out now. Quick blow and artillery is going to knock out the 51st. Oh, they are going to charge us upon the wall. I was hope hoping they wouldn't get to. Actually, they might just engage us. Let's get my howitzers to concentrate fire here. They will 100% die. Whoop, artillery's coming in. Coming up. Get up the wall quicker. Get over there, Marines. Got to protect them. I'll make up their mind. Come on, Marines, you've got your damn orders. Run along the wall. Get over there. Secure that gate and prevent them. Coming up. It looks like they can't pull themselves away from trying to make sure the breach is covered at all times. There we go. This is our gate now. Enemy regiment of force. Time this. We may have timed this okay. I think because of the enemy regiment of horse coming half through the gates, that's going to screw it up. So we're now we're fighting people down here rather than being up here fighting them. Getting up on the wall appropriately. There we go, you men fire it well on. Will they mount the fire step or will they just stand here because there are people up on the wall? See, they're not actually going to mount the fire step, they're going to fire because they're going to try and shoot these guys up here. you will not shoot, then you will get involved. Okay, infantry, ceasefire. Artillery, ceasefire. Artillery, shoots to round shot and do counter battery fire. You will engage the garrison guards. Dragoons, Regiment of Horse, not good infantry, but let's let, let the musket fire rattle off for a bit and kill them first. Go get them, Marines. Gorillas are wavering, unsurprisingly. Let's try and get 
some of these guys off the wall. through the garrison guards you've still got reserves pushed through after you you've still got the cavalry to clear the way Mikale wait here in case they make a breach all these marines push across support the other marine unit Try form square, accepting that all your men aren't there yet. The 49th is still holding strong. Kill the four garrison guards. Just hold square. They're not going to be able to get up here and stop us. You men now scale the wall. Left deploying carcass shot against our reserves. Oh, I get that. Spread the line out. Bring out my general. There you go. Soon their cavalry is going to be just defunct. Kill that last garrison guardsman. Got him. Pikemen are here. They may take a little bit of extra damage. Artillery, just keep bombarding their artillery. Actually, get my artillery to focus on the mortars. One unit can break away from the cavalry. Actually, two units can break away from the cavalry fight. They're charging the guns in column formation. They're going to make their breach, though, by the looks of it. Get in here, Mikele. Get in here, cavalry. Oh, now we're on the chug, chug time. My Mikulay, just stand here and form a gun line and shoot them. Don't get involved in the combat, just stand here and pour musketry into this entire exposed blank. How much does ceasefire? Cavalry sweep in. There we go. You can't do anything because you're stuck on the wall. And soon they're all going to break. Yes! You've taken the city, taken the wall. You've killed every last man of them. You, infantry, hold the wall. Uh, 
everyone charge into the rear of the pikes. Including you, Marines, and the Mikule, everybody. Oh, there's still a gunner here sparring. Did we kill him? Yep, we did. Nice. Let these gunners escape. There we go. The enemy have collapsed and broken, which is nice. Good, good, good. Messy fight, took a lot of casualties, but we don't really need to worry about that. Excellent. Take the city. Plenish our troops. Okay, build that. But I think that's everything we want to do for now. There's still a bunch of people on the move. Okay, because you can't move, you can't move. Okay, let's hit and turn. Here come even more ships. Even more troops. But they just aren't needed. They're not needed at all. There's a large Swedish force in the eastern Mediterranean, but we don't really need to worry about that because they can't leave and they can't actually do any damage to us because all of, all of our ports are protected. Okay, where are they going to try and bolster? No. Yeah, they can They can sweep away one of the trade zones. We're not at the point where we're bothered about... Uh, we're not bothered about money. We're sat on 5 million gold. Just let it happen. Yeah. Okay, so they've seen because they've, they've garrisoned Norway, which is good. Saxony's wandering about, probably a little bit panicked on what about what's going on. But nevertheless, their time will come, assuredly. But we're only going after Sweden because they are not our uh, protectorate. Path blocked. Is it blocked, really? Is it? Let's just send all of our the all of our troops just up towards the borders with Saxony. Just to bash through. So you can hop on Copenhagen. You can hop on to Norway. You can just go forward and knock out that random unit. Oh, there's some hidden hidden guerrillas or that like they're going to help. <laughs> You've been around for a while. Oh no, you're a different different chap. Me, you men push up. I'm hoping I can lure them into trying to attack me. Let's see if we can kill a general. Asgard Adelstein. Got him. Uh, but yeah, safe to say, they are kind of screwed. Because Copenhagen's, yeah, got no defences around it. Does Christiana have defences? Nope. Neither of these cities have defences, and they'll both push towards Stockholm as we squeeze Finland. Um, but let's fight the Christiana fight first, I think. Lots of cavalry, a bit of artillery, some infantry, but it's mostly a large cavalry force. So get ready to be a bit more responsive with our infantry, dropping them into squares and so on. Let's get cracking, because this is going to be... I mean, we are hurtling towards the end of this campaign right now. We are 
absolutely zooming. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a fight for the hill, is it? Infantry stay... Cow art artillery stay limbered up. Infantry block are going to storm forward and try and secure the hill and push the enemy off of it. And a concentrated tower to support. Oh yeah, my puckle gun! Get to witness how rubbish puckle guns are. That's right, you fall back. So once we get up to here, we can deploy them without worrying about friendly fire. Justifying round shot, that's fine. Knocked out howitzer. Two howitzers. Yeah, not bad. Do both fly a quick climb and try and knock out the sixth regiment. Ah, oh, they're all firing now. Just managed to get a hit on one. More shells are inbound immediately, though. Down to a third of their original force. Let's do some attack ground missions. Missiles and Cassier, get ready. the air in. Sars just push up normally. How it's, I mean, how it's just blast the enemy. Oh yeah, they've made into contact with us. I'm fairly sure the general's bodyguard will be fine. We're going to gun down the Lancer Guard. No, they haven't even made it up. Of the infantry around. No, don't break the formation. There you go. King, the heavy artillery is coming in. Lifeguards of foot, we aren't worried about. Sharpshooters get up here and get shooting. Here I see air. Run through the town towards their general. Call back my hussars, intercept the Lancer Guard. Go for the regiment of horse. Is that coming in? It's provincial cav. Kill the lifeguards. They're shattered. All my cavalry spin around and attack the provincial cavalry. Infantry get out of square. Push through. Ignore what's going on. Okay, if the cavalry wants to run away, we'll go after the artillery then. Well, there we are, wavering because we're under a lot of fire. The infantry are in as well against the provincial cavalry, but that's fine. Oh, it's to start popping off shots. 
see they're doing it again, I attack them, they trot away, and I go, alright then. Pretty sweet light cab is just going down. They've suddenly realized, wait a minute, that's what we're supposed to be protecting, isn't it? All my artillery focus on the general's bodyguard to the rear. We call the cavalry. Push up our line. Fuse layers are sat back hiding. Skirmishes push up, sharpshooters also push up. The sharpshooters help kill the light cav. Wavering, broken, see if we can keep attacking them and shatter them. There we go. Fusiliers have placed stakes. Artillery engaged the fusiliers. Everyone else, go for the general. Push, push. Yeah, let's see, they're forming up to be like, oh, let's go. Let's protect the general. Not gonna happen, buddy. Got a lot of angry people storming up. Take a bayonet at the backside. There goes their general. Taking some big hits. 105th care about that. Well, they're reloading. Oh, they, they broke anyway. They're shattered anyway. Artillery fire alone. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's Christiane's ours. Let's get the city repaired. Or get the garrison repaired. Just do a bit of building here and there. Go. Heroic death. Oh, these are my um, trading admirals. Well, you can come in and stomp the leftovers here. Apparently, we lost four ships to that. Take that, Scallywag. We're not going to worry about almost all of these these repairs. It's just not not needed now. Okay, then we've got the fight against Copenhagen. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the destruction of the former Danish capital. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>